Hi, this is uh, Arnav from Coding Blocks, and uh, today we're going to see how the set timeout and the set interval function works in JavaScript. So uh, let's uh, start with uh, this uh, example. We have, say, a function, say hello, and that function does is it uh, logs uh, hello, and uh, if we call this function. Uh, what's uh, going to happen is this hello is going to be pr printed um, now if uh, we instead use the function set timeout in the set timeout as the first argument we use the say hello function okay and give it a timeout of 1000 so here this value is in milliseconds so this means i'm giving it a timeout of one second okay um before we do that let's run this line of uh, code so log and the way it starts uh, we run this first it comes and the way it starts and a second later hello gets printed if I run it twice, so then what's going to happen is the two hellos are going to be printed uh, together because we set the timeout at around the same point of time. Okay. That's how basically the set timeout function works. And how does set interval work? So if I write set interval and in set interval I write say hello as the function that I need to call and I give it a delay of one second and when I run this function see that and the way it starts and every one second hello will be printed on our screen okay so this is basically how set timeout and set interval works. Uh, set timeout prints. Uh, set timeout basically runs the function, which is the first argument, uh, after the amount of delay, and it runs it only once. Set interval runs the same function uh, once after this amount of delay, and then another time after this amount of delay, and then again, and then again, and so on until it is cancelled. So how do we cancel this kind of functions? Let's have a look at that. Um, if I run it like this, uh, set interval let uh, interval id equal to set interval and Use var because let's just make it compatible with any version of JavaScript. If I use var interval id equal to set uh, interval, the set interval function returns us an id, and what we can do is uh, we can call the function clear interval, then interval id to it. If we run this, you will see that uh, file runs, and yeah, nothing gets printed because uh, I created the interval and I immediately also uh, cancelled it. Uh, what we can do another thing is. Um, Let's uh, create the interval ID here. Or um, make it something like this uh, interval ID. Run count equal to um, if one count greater than five. Clear interval, interval ID, okay. And I set interval ID as set interval this, and I run uh, say hello. Every time this function runs, I take one count, increment one to it. Now, if I run this function, what's going to happen is the way it starts. Hello is going to be printed um, six times. 
and then uh, the process ends because uh, I was checking for the value of run count and every time this function runs, it increases the run count. When the value of run count is greater than five, it clears the interval with this interval ID. Okay. So that's basically how uh, set timeout and set interval works. You can use uh, an anonymous function uh, inside them. Uh, like you can do set interval and here you can define your own function uh, to start off with and then give it a time and write um, like this as well okay so You can either use a predefined function. You can either use a predefined function like this. Then use uh, my fun here. Or like we have seen that we can use an anonymous function right here and uh, run that function every one uh, second, okay?